Hello and welcome to Phuket Park's GD Express screencast with me, Teacher Alex. Today's lesson will focus on a, a GD science past paper and we will go through the first or the first two questions. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> so, in this paper we can see our first question refers to information in a graph. So let's have a look at the graph first. The graph shows us the average monthly rainfall for two cities in the US. So if we have a look at the axis, first let's have a look on the y-axis, we see the rainfall in inches. And on the x-axis we see the months from January to December and the two lines blue and pink for the two cities. So on, on, in every month there is a dot on each line which on each line which means that yeah this indicates the average rainfall in inches for that month. So when we have a look at city 1 at the blue line we can see that the average rainfall in January and as well in December are highest and then drop down during February, March, April, May, June, July to a low in July with an average rainfall of about 0 0.7 inches average per month and then from July when it's driest it increases again over August, September, October, November to December to the highest average oops, rainfall <coughs> of um, yeah about 6.3 inches average per month. So we have a very clear pattern here starting off high going down and then increasing again. Um, the second city uh, has a bit more confuse or diffuse pattern so it has uh, in January uh, lower rainfall than the first city but stays in the middle over the year increasing around August September to the highest point and four yeah point three roundabout and then decreasing from uh, August again through September November December and then fluctuates through the year <clears throat> so we have two distinctly different patterns here let's see what the question is about so the two cities shown in the illustration have a very different average monthly rainfall patterns. In which month is the average annual rainfall most similar in these two cities? February, September, May, March or November. So in which month is the average annual rainfall most similar means uh, yeah, which two months are almost the same in their rainfall patterns. <clears throat> so we have to look for a month where the two average rainfalls are almost the same and the two points which are closest together should be in March so October is pretty close as well but October is not in the answers so it must be March answer number four. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at question number two. So in question number two we will get a table but let's read the information first. Students were asked to measure the mass in grams of a set of cubes. Then they tested which cubes would sink and float in water. The results of these tests are shown below in table one. All the cubes used in the tests had the same volume. So what we see in table 1 is sinking and floating test results. So we have different sample materials um, of which we all have a cube. And <clears throat> this, these cubes all have the same volume and uh, the mass of the cubes were measured and yeah we see the different masses for the different 
cubed, so maple wood 0 0.25 grams, brick more heavy 1.41, and so on. And the maple wood cube floats. The brick cube sank. The oak wood cube floated as well. Ice, for sure, is floating. Lead sank. And steel sank as well. So we can already see a little difference here. So heavy materials or heavier cubes tend to sink, whereas a little more light cubes tend to float. And we have a table two sinking and floating predictions. So we have five different materials A to E with different masses. And now the question is based on the information and the data in table two above, which cube would float in water? A, B, C, D, or E. Okay, <clears throat> deducing from the first table, we can see that all the materials which weigh less than one gram are floating and all the materials above at least 1.41 gram sank. So our lightest material in the second table is as well 1.41 gram. So this one must sink. All the other C, D and E are above this value so they must sink as well. Only B is below 1.14 and as well below ice 0.91 which floated so we can deduce that substance B or the cube of substance B must float. So the correct answer is B. <clears throat> okay uh, that's it from me from today I'd hope you come back for the next screencast and if you'd like to know more about Phuket Pulse see our Facebook page or call us under 081-417-0978 <clears throat> okay have a nice day and see you next time bye